Hello, this is Lieutenant Commander Montgomery Scott from the USS Enterprise. If I look and sound a wee bit different today, it's just because of a minor transporter malfunction. Nothing to be worried about. Well, I'm here today to talk to you about my phaser modification. Now, what phaser modification might that be, you're asking? Well, it's a phaser modification for these diamond select toy phasers. I know, you're not supposed to take it out of the original packaging because it affects the resale value, but bloody hell. What's the point of buying a toy if they can't play with it? I mean, this is kind of a cool toy. It makes phaser noises. It lights up a little bit on the red, but you know a real phaser isn't red. And it also feels very light, cheap plastic. The top pop does come off, which is pretty cool as well. But my goal is to take this cheap phaser, start out with this cheap phaser, and make it look more realistic. Just a second. Johnny, give me that power. Not now, Captain. I'm in the middle of making a video. That Captain Kirk always asking for more power or something. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes, take this cheap toy plastic phaser and try and make it a bit more realistic. And this is the final result. The one on the right here. Uh, they both look the same from a distance, but uh, now the, many of the plastic pieces on this one, on the one on the left, such as this nozzle here, uh, some of these controls, the grid on the right, they've all been replaced by actual machined aluminum metal pieces, giving it a much more realistic feel. Uh, and the one other really cool thing about this is that I have now installed a uh, laser inside, so it is actually more like a real phaser. Uh, I don't know if you can see the, the blue phaser here. I will point it at the camera. And hopefully that is not the strange camera lens or the camera sensor. Uh, and we will see. You can see it a little better in the dark here. Especially if I put it on some baby powder and it kind of shows off the, the beam. In addition to uh, these modifications, um, I added a couple of new settings. Obviously, we're not familiar with the kill setting and the spin setting, but now, since it's a laser, we have um, an Amusa Cat setting. In addition to that, I added one interesting feature called uh, a haircut setting. Yes, it is useful to be able to give yourself a haircut with your phaser. So, uh, let me demonstrate. Doctor, I'm not quite dead yet. Well, sorry about that. Seems like I had it on a stun setting rather than a haircut setting. Oh, lucky I didn't have a kill setting or I wouldn't be talking to you now. Well, let's try that again, this time having it on a proper setting. Ah, here we go again. Hopefully I don't blow myself out of existence. Oh. I don't believe it. There. Not too shabby, not bad at all. Well, now I'm going to get a little bit more into the details about exactly how I made my modifications. Lieutenant Tuhura, if you could be so kind as to put up my presentation. Main screen coming on. Whisper, what are you doing up there? Can you let me get on with my presentation? Well, this is what the toy phaser looks like inside when I open it up. As you can see, there's a lot of wee little pieces, and I'm going to have to gut it, take them all out, in order to make room for the new laser that I'm going to put inside. Here's an image of all of the metal pieces that are going to be replacing all of the plastic pieces in the original toy. I bought these off a of seller on eBay. Not included in this image is the laser, which is a totally separate piece. For the laser, I just removed the laser module from a standard office pointer laser. Uh, that I got three for 15 bucks off of Amazon, a red, green, and a blue, and of course I used the blue one. I also wet sanded and painted the plastic shell of the phaser before putting it all back together. What the? That's not supposed to be in here. Here's an image of the inside after completion. As you can see, I've added the battery pack, the laser and module fit inside the aluminum nozzle. I've also had to rewire the trigger switch in order to accommodate the laser, and the metal pieces have replaced their corresponding plastic pieces as well. 
I basically had to go through the same process for the handheld part of the phaser, taking it apart, gutting it, repainting it, and putting in all the metal pieces. And here you can see the final result comparing the original on the top right and my modified phaser on the bottom left. As you can see, the modified one, it just doesn't look as cheap and toy-like uh, as the original one. Well, here's an example of using the phaser on the Amuse Cat setting. As you can see, Whisper is definitely amused. Well, if you're still watching, I thank you, and I'm off to go battle some Klingons and amuse some cats with my new upgraded phaser. Energize! I'm too lazy to walk down to the transporter room.